What's the most American thing ever that, if explained to a non-American might just sound crazy? As a Brit, what shocked me was learning about just how huge your college sports games are. A university slash college football, soccer, team game here might draw a crowd of a few hundred. A friend who went to the University of Texas told me their, American, football stadium seats 100. 000. What the actual frick? As a South African what amazed me was the competitors call each other out in advertisements. I couldn't believe it at first it seemed so unusual. Advertising prescription drugs to regular people on TV. When I was in Tennessee as an exchange student for a year, I was surprised by the team spirit of each high school. Like how there was a football game every Friday night and almost all of the school was there to cheer them on. That would never happen in my country. Hospitals buy ad space on billboards. I've never left the country. But we must be the only country that has hospitals advertising like Burger King. I'm from Vienna and honestly I have many questions for the US. Most burning on though is why are your toilet stall doors so damn high above the ground? When purchasing an item, the listed price is actually not the amount you'll have to pay at checkout, it will be more. I think I will use this thread and ask something to you Americans. Are the movie stereotypes of cheerleaders and football players true? Do all schools have a football team with associated cheerleaders? And are the people who join them usually popular kids? I'm only right upstairs in Canada. But I've never even heard of a school that has cheerleaders. Also, what is a homecoming dance? The best chicken joints in the hood usually have bulletproof glass. Walmart you can get a haircut. Buy a gun and ammo. With your groceries. Florida. French guy who lived in NC for a while here. To me. The weirdest thing was all the advertisement for prescription drugs on TV, radio, and online. It's crazy waking up in the morning and suddenly, while you're having your morning coffee and cereals, your TV starts spewing stuff about some random meds, like they are tic tacs you can just arbitrarily decide you need. The worst is honestly the mandatory side effects warning at the end of every ad. I nearly choked on my egg sandwich the first time, that voice came up warning people about horrific stuff that could potentially happen if they took the drug i have lived in quite a few countries around the world and the u.s is the only place where i saw this one of my canadian friend told me that back in 2003 when we france refused to take part in the war against iraq some congress cafeterias and some restaurant in the usa renamed french fries and freedom fries i think it's the most passive aggressive and american thing you could have done plus Fries come from Belgium, not France. Shooting a red sports car into space seemed like a pretty quintessentially American thing to do. Adverts for medication, you've got happy people and stuff in the ad and then, it may cause death. Not an American, Brit, but when I watch live streaming Premier League on American channels, or legal of course, I honestly find the advertisements so strange. They're so, aggressive? I don't know if that's the right word, but honestly it's a fun experience. The car adverts are the best. Edit, my first gold. Thanks a lot kind stranger. I honestly couldn't believe people had to worry about calling an ambulance because of the fees. Like, WTF. Imagine being seriously hurt or sick and hesitating to call an ambulance and having to think about how much it will cost. Can't imagine it. Play the national anthem at almost every event. Warehouse type grocery stores, Costco, Super Saver, my great uncle from Australia, would always take photos in my Korean, non seal friends thought this was crazy we'd have so much space for a grocery store. There is a place a short drive from my house, that is a firearm slash military merchandise store in the front half of the building, and in the back half, just down a short hallway is a bbq restaurant it's a magical place still weirded out about refills and sizes of drinks specific to soda the low bar to get a driver's license traveling between major cities the distances are insane especially just feeling completely alone in the middle of nowhere i'm totally irish meaning your great great grandfather's uncle once had a pint of guinness do you guys know what s'mores are edit i get it you've seen the sandlet you're killing me smalls. It's okay to walk around with a gun. But not a drink. Edit. 
40 of the 50 states do not require any license to carry a firearm openly. Health insurance, premiums, deductibles, coinsurance, copays, out of pocket maximums, in network, etc. It's an insane amount of knowledge that you need to have to make a good decision about your health coverage. And no one teaches you any of this crap. You have to go and learn it yourself on the internet. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Apparently. Edit. I'm American. But I recently learned that much of the world finds PB and J to be an odd combination. I live in a right to hire state. That basically means that, with a few exceptions, my employer can fire me at any time without reason. With zero notice, it is possible to get a job with a contract. But those are rare, unless you have a very high paying position. This is quite common in the USA from what a lawyer told me. I've read stories on this site of other places that are not like this. I always thought this was normal before. 3k plus up votes. WTF that's pretty cool. The age old question of. Are those firecrackers or gunshots? I'm still shocked you'll pay for an ambulance ride. Like what the frick. Someone plz explain the imperial system and how tf fair and heat works. I would like to not set my house on fire setting my oven to 360 degrees. Edit I can totally spell and grammar. Their 5d mayo celebrations. I have never met a Mexican who celebrates this holiday lol. The worrying tendency of the south to deep fry anything and everything. IDK if that's fitting here. But I simply don't get why the grading system is A B C D F what happened to E. I remember explaining to an Italian friend that in the US we can vote and own a gun and fight in a war at 18 but can't buy a drink and he was completely at a loss for words. Aerosol cheese. Fraternity slash sororities. Yeah so we just join brother slash sisterhoods when we go off to college with secret rituals and traditions. Do you guys in the US get paid holidays? We have weeks of paid holidays, not including the bank holidays. I saw someone saying that in the US they practically work perpetually for their company with no time off. How? The plus 5 above speed limit. From the perspective of a Swede, not including tax and price tag, shoes on inside, health car prices, gun laws, the crazy amount of food you guys serve. Like, the french fries you serve as a side and large glass of pepsi is enough to fill me up. Edit, grandma. I was on a night train in Italy from Rome to Venice. I explained beef jerky, and he asked me why we would do that to steak. And I was like blame the cowboys. I studied in Chicago for a month at 17. And I was so confused as to why all your bread was sweet. I get migraines if I eat too much sugar and I basically lived off of chips mac and cheese and the salad bar in our accommodation on the 4th of july i just ate a bowl of carrots dipped in ranch dressing as i didn't eat meat at the time it still had enough sugar to knock me out also your painkiller bottles are huge i had to buy ibuprofen and the smallest bottle was like 100 pills i haven't finished it yet and that trip was two years ago when i visited texas i did these touristy things plus learned about sales tax thought the store owner was trying to rip me off. Plus learned about tipping. Apparently I was a bad guy not to rip or waiter. My friend made me go back in and find him and tip him. I still don't know how to calculate a tip. Plus drove a Walmart fat people scooter and took a selfie. Plus went shooting at a survivalist gun range in the bush. Learned a lot about the constitution there. Plus saw guns for sale in the department stores. Plus you can buy alcohol pretty much anywhere, like in a petrol station, or Taco Bell, but you can't drink it anywhere. Plus jaywalking laws are stupid. Plus I tackled a robber in a mall, and everyone told me I shouldn't have gotten involved. The security guys that came late thought I was the robber, because I had a backpack. But the first guys kept them straight. Plus in St. Louis the first got on a train. Then once it was moving noticed I was the only white guy in my carriage. And the next carriage was all white people. Some guys in my carriage were cool, and we chatted a lot. But one guy just stared at me with the stink eye the whole ride. Plus I got lost in Texas, and asked some guy for directions. But he wouldn't say a word. Another guy told me he was a gang member, and I was in the wrong part of town, and should leave quickly. 
plus I ate giant plates of meat for 15% the price in Australia, plus I saw Dennis bacon a rama 15 course bacon base meal, including desert and smoothies, the bacon was deep fried, wow. Proms and homecoming dances I don't know if they are one and the same, or how many there are. Americans make such a huge deal out of it that pass around awards for whoever is the prettiest slash dances the best, the whole thing just seems so bizarre and out of this world to a European that I have to ask if any of you can explain in detail why they are the way that they are lol. We just organize with the teachers some school parties that are usually in big clubs once or twice a year and they turn a blind eye on alcohol because you guys are also really strict on alcohol until you're 21. Another kinda odd thing, as when you guys are allowed to drink you just go all over the news in Mediterranean places for causing trouble. We have a population of over 300 million people. From this vast pool, our chosen leader is an unnaturally huge guy who inherited an influential family name and vast wealth, then squandered the latter on failed business deals. He's declared bankruptcy multiple times and even had a casino go broke. A casino. He's been divorced twice and cheated on his current wife with a 30 actress while his wife was pregnant. This guy, having done nothing philanthropic in the first 70 years of his life, somehow swindled the middle of the US into believing he's just like them and has their best interests at heart. Warned about a deadly pandemic on the horizon. He went golfing. Over 50. 000 of his constituents are now dead. And his response is to deny all responsibility, promote conspiracy theories about the virus origins, and suggest his people protect themselves by injecting disinfectant into their bodies. This man continues to be revered by his followers. The way American public schools treat children with disabilities is bizarre. I was fortunate enough to be in district that had a separate section for children who couldn't function well in a traditional classroom. However, the expectations were so low as to be laughable. I had a math class with a great teacher, but only me and one other kid attended, while everyone else was god knows where. During the last few weeks of that class all we did was watch movies like LOTR. Nobody ever checked in on us or questioned why this was happening. It's a shame really. The kids I met were smart and clever, but didn't really get the support they needed. Some just had anxiety and couldn't handle test taking. Others, like me, simply needed a smaller classroom size, 30 kids per class was standard at the time, but under 15 for special ed, all were just filed away under a individualized education plan, and never looked into again, unless there were big problems. I was split between regular and special ed in my final year of high school. The only accommodation I got for my regular red classes was a little keyboard slash LCD screen combo, to type on instead of handwriting. I ace them all because, surprise, I don't have a learning disability, I had dysgraphia and autism. After a decade plus spent in public schools, no one had figured it out why I did better or worse. All that was done was to shuffle me and kids like me around to be someone else's problem. Edit, to provide more context, I'm referring to my high school 15 years ago. I had different experiences there compared to elementary and middle school. All of those schools were less than 5 miles from each other, and in the same county, as I posted below. This district did not lack money, and was attended by students from poor to upper middle class. At the time, I was in one of the wealthiest and most populated counties in Northern Vap. My public high school held over 2,000 students on an average day and the special ed classes had both a teacher and a assistant. Your local area may differ greatly, but I still implore you to seek out a local PTA meeting and or talk to any parents in your neighborhood if you want a better understanding of these issues. I'm a UK citizen, and I find it strange and confusing the different levels of law enforcement officers there are in the states, and what they're allowed to do while in pursuit of a criminal. For instance if someone crosses a state line, the criminal can't be arrested if his offense was in the other state. Well that's how it seems, when I watch American films slash TV shows. I saw on a post a while ago, that some people in Europe thought the big yellow school buses were our folklore and not real. Only in the shows and movies. Sorry kiddo, run down. Barely functional yellow rowler rowler these straps rowler rowley public transportation is a standard round these parts. 
I always wondered why in the US it's obligatory to tip people like you already got your meal in the restaurant for example, and you get the check you just leave the amount in the check and leave the place what can they do to stop you from doing that you already got what you requested right, is it a moral thing, or you will be blacklisted, or something like that. As a French I'd say the president swearing on the bible, I thought you guys, were a secular country. That eating outside slash take away food is the normal thing, while staying at home, and cooking is something special, or at least that's how it's portrayed in TV, are you guys all millionaires or something? When you get sick, you don't got to the doctor, because maybe you can't afford it, and it's confusing as to which actual doctor you can see, and what they are allowed to treat, and so then you just get worse and end up going to the hospital, but even if you have insurance, maybe they take you to the wrong hospital, or the wrong doctor treats you, and then you get a bill, even if insured that bankrupts you, and there is nothing you can do about it. Chicken fried steak. I don't care, if someone said it already. I'll repeat it anyway, because it's so important. That gap next to the doors and toilet stalls. I don't want eye contact with strangers when doing my thing. 1. Most Americans are monolingual. So they basically only speak English. 2. They spend grants for healthcare services. 3. Paying student loans will hunt you down. Even after having a family. I've visited the US a couple of times, I'm a South African slash Brit, and the TV adverts are like nothing I've ever experienced anywhere else. The crazy political adverts where they do nothing but insult the opposition. The medicine slash drug adverts. Good grief. Those lists of side effects. It makes the drug sound more dangerous than whatever it's meant to treat. My fiance's favorite though was a petrol advert. Gas. To you guys I guess. It made it sound as if filling your tank with their brand was the ticket to a better life. That advert had American flags everywhere, bald eagles, and the best tagline in the world, buy a tank full of freedom. That was a few years ago, and we still joke about going to get a tank full of freedom when we fill up our car. Firearms slash weapons? It's actually starting to become a very touchy subject here in the states. But when I was younger we could go to school with rifles in a gun rack. In the back window of your pickup truck. Carrying pocket knives everywhere. Even though it sounds bad or strange. A good size pocket knife in your pocket can be a helpful tool. Waiters and waitresses are essentially required to tip because their actual wage is very low. In my state they are usually paid $2 an hour. If you don't tip, they'll give you a glare and might even tell their manager. The only reason you shouldn't tip is if their service made you feel worse than you did coming in. You need to use a credit card at a very young age in order to have a proper credit rating. Everywhere in the world a credit card means you're spending money you don't have. Thus you should have a bad credit ratnig. That it's standard when going out for a meal to ask for the uneaten half of your giant meal to be put into a box to eat later. Edit. I mean meals too big to be consumed in a single sitting. I don't mean the practice of refusing to waste food. Fried Twinkies. GoFundMe healthcare. Mass shootings. Evangelicals according to British friend. How African Americans can protest people being shot illegally and be labeled rioters. But armed white terrorists storming government buildings and holding them hostage are called protesters. Couple that stand out to me as a Canadian who has traveled a lot in the US. At will employment in all states except Montana, meaning an employer does not need to have reason to fire you. Edit, not Minnesota. School starting as early as 7 a.m. some places. Teacher salaries and how that relates to the county they are in. I've spoke with teachers from both Gainesville and Long Island and the difference was stark. Matt leave being six weeks many places, which is insane. What really resonated with me was how poor your poor neighborhoods are compared to the affluent areas. The ceiling certainly seems higher in the US for economic prosperity, but the floor is much much lower than Canada. Loving your country, while simultaneously arming yourself just in case the government ever decide to get uppity. Our measurement system was created because of a foot fetish. As a non-American, here I'm waiting for you to tell me those stuff to see if they are actually that crazy. Discussing guns with my friend from Australia was very interesting. He thought I was crazy for owning them. 
Public schools are funded by local property taxes, which is why class disadvantage is built into the American system. Truck nuts. Not an American, but when I found out about America's circumcision rates it blew my freaking mind. Had to explain to my West African husband, when you are pulled over by police, don't make sudden moves, give short sweet responses, keep hands on the wheel, announce when you have to move your hands and monitor your tone for entire conversation. The cost of an ambulance ride. Complimenting strangers, but I like it though. The first time I went shopping in US I realized, after the cashier explained to me, how taxes are not included in the price tag. To this day I'm not convinced as to why. Nobody will admit it, but like crap tons of people own guns and vote Republican, no matter how big an idiot the politician is, for the sole reason of, nobody's gonna take my guns away. They call soccer what the rest of the world calls football, and call football a sport which the players don't need to use their feet. Mowing the lawn. So, I told my friend in China I had to mow my lawn, she had no idea what it meant. I went on to say, you, no, a lawnmower, it cuts the grass. She looked at me, like I was crazy, she didn't fully understand, until I linked her some videos of folks getting their lawn. Perhaps not the most American thing, but not many PPL there have gardens or yards to maintain, so she had never seen or used a lawnmower in her life. I was thinking, damn I had to mow the lawn as part of my chores just about every week growing up. Tornado chasing. The whole Pledge of Allegiance thing. Tiger King. The way you use credit cards. For example, when I went to the stores, I would just swipe my card. No typing in a pin. No signing. No checking ID. How do you know that's my card? Or in a diner, the waiter takes my card and goes to the till to process the payment. I was uncomfortable with not seeing what they do with my card. I know I could get a faulty charge back. But why let it happen in the first place? 18 to join the military, but 21 to buy alcohol. The fact that there's no government mandated maternity slash paternity leave. In Canada, we get 12, 18 months so it sounds crazy to me when I hear stories of people giving birth and going back to work in two weeks. Also, the accessibility of guns is wild to me. The fact that you can get them at Walmart is insane. There's one scene in Tiger King where Joe goes to a store called Discount Guns, and as he's checking out, the guy asks him will that be everything today, or would you like some explosives with that? That one line describes America to me. The Electoral College. It's easier to die of being fat than it is to starve to death here. Okay so, sweet potatoes, marshmallows, equals edible together. If you think taxes are too high. Get the tea and throw it into the harbor. If that doesn't work, shoot them. Health cocoon and will bankrupt you. If you're poor and arrested for a minor offense, you will be kept in jail until such a time that you go to trial, which can be weeks or months. If you're rich and accused of the most serious and hideous crime, you can pay to be let out of jail and roam the streets freely as a dangerous individual until trial. America, the land of the free. But my freedom is more important than yours and frick you for thinking otherwise. Putting marshmallow in mashed potato. Okay I read like 100 comments. Why isn't there riots in the streets against lobbyism? Isn't it legalized corruption? My grandma currently needs help from some hospital workers to drain her lungs every now and then and to help her with daily tasks. The only problem is that it costs frick I'm 18 grand a month. Like seriously. Frick the healthcare system. American here. I think it's crazy how Americans love to talk about how they're half Irish or even full German, when they have absolutely zero ties to the culture at all. They don't speak the language, practice any of the traditions or customs, or know how to make any traditional food. I have cousins who are insanely proud of being a quarter Italian, and love identifying with that. Even though we all grew up in northern CA and know virtually nothing about Italy or being Italian. Took a 23andMe test to find out our family isn't even Italian. It's mostly Irish.